When you're creating blocks in AutoCAD, again, tips and tricks are to make sure that you make them the most effective they can be for you. So what you need to start thinking about is obviously working with the objects you've got, making them into a block to make it easier to work with, obviously, it becomes a single object, but also include things like dynamic properties. Our current layer is objects. The layer that all of these objects are on is zero. Utilize your layer zero. So any block you bring in then comes in on the current drafting layer. So what we'll do here, we'll make this into a very, very simple dynamic block. And I'll show you how quick and easy it is just to utilize these tools. So I'm staying in the Home tab on the ribbon. I'm going to the Block panel, and I want to Create Block, like so. So I'm just going to call this Frame. Like we did previously when we started the course, I'm going to use a point as a base point. So I go Pick Point, and I'll use that midpoint snap on the end there as the base point, like so. I'm going to select all of the objects. Again, utilize your selection tools to your advantage. Make sure that you cross everything that you need to select. Right click to confirm or press enter if that's what you prefer. Remember your behavior, scale uniformly and allow exploding. If you allow exploding, obviously you can explode the block, edit it, make it into a slightly different block. Remember these things. They're really useful little tick boxes. Now, if we're going to make it dynamic, we'll open it in the block editor. So make sure the opening block editor is ticked and we click on OK. So we're now in our block editor utilizing our dynamic tools to make our block more effective. So I'm just going to pan down a little bit and I'm going to go to the parameters tab and I'm going to put a flip parameter on this block. Base point of the reflection line, again, just utilize your object snaps and it's there. I might just pop that flip state, say, there like that and there's our flip arrow right there now you'll see that we've got the exclamation mark so we need to apply an action to that so we go to the flip action select the parameter select the objects we'll go for all of them like that and then right click to confirm or enter again if you prefer so we've got our flip parameter and our flip action in there so if I close the block editor I'll go straight into AutoCAD how's about we just quickly test the block so that takes us into our test area. I select the block, click on the flip. Yep, that's doing what I want it to do. So I can close now the test block window. And then what I can do is close the block editor, save the changes to the frame block. Notice, as soon as I make that into a block, can you see it's gone onto the current layer, objects? And if I zoom out a little and pan, and then select that now, I can flip that frame either way. That's how quick and easy it is to make a dynamic block. Think of the fun and games you would have if you needed to mirror that. You'd have to go to the Modify panel, Mirror Command. I need to select the object and then right click to confirm. I need the mirror line. Do I want to erase the source object or not? In this case, no, and I press Enter. That mirrors it, but then I've got to think about that other image because I said no to erasing the source object. If I just undo that mirror, and just click there, one, two clicks to flip that because I've made it a dynamic block. That's how quick and easy dynamic blocks are. Use them. When you're creating your blocks, use dynamic blocks. Use all the tools you've got. Make sure that when you're creating blocks, you're making them as quick and as effective as you want them to be. That way, you'll be quick and effective in your job role, and you might get some brownie points there as well from your boss because suddenly you've become really quick with all your designs in AutoCAD because you're using dynamic blocks.